Gung-ho here. Got a little treat. Menu 24, chicken pulled in buffalo style sauce. They stopped making these in 2011. And I haven't had one since I came back from the field for three days. And immediately got put on a 12 hour car duty. So, that was a hell of a night. Imagine being out in the field for three days, getting two, three hours of sleep every night, going to the range, shooting, doing patrols, immediate action drills, and then uh, convoy all the way back to base, only to, hey, go, go, you're half an hour late for your 12 hour guard shift. So fuck me, right? Been up all night. Walking around trying to stay awake. I have to have buffalo chicken. It's unique because it's the only MRE I don't put hot sauce on. It's also the only MRE I give you diarrhea. Now the way you're supposed to cook these is taking your meal out. and shoving it inside your flameless ration heater. I find that makes a bit of a mess. Gets MRE goo on your hands. Just nasty. The little trick I got. I'll shove this back in the sleeve and fold it over and let that cook. Only trouble with that is sometimes at the Pull a hot meal out, flip it over the other way, shove it back in so you're not eating half hot and half cold. But it's a little more tidy. Alright, let that cook. Let's see what else we got here. Fried rice, some of the nastiest dog food I've ever put in MRE. Toffee cookies, these are usually pretty good unless they've gone stale. Oh. Wheat snack bread, cheese, mocha cappuccino, we got a boot camp story about Reese's Pieces. So it's and a second phase, field week. We're all sitting down on the bleachers. One recruit, so they're eating his MRE. I think it was a tuna. Tuna usually comes with Reese's Pieces. And he's eating the Reese's Pieces. The drill instructor comes on up, inches away from him. So the recruit's sitting down, eating his MRE. And the drill instructor's just staring at him, allowing him to eat. Watching. Gracious pieces, huh? Yes, sir. Those are my favorite. And the recruit just kept sitting there eating the Reese's pieces. <laughs> I'll feel me. I would have given him half because the guy was, it was alright. He wasn't that much of an asshole of a drill instructor, but I just love that story. They're a little stale, really dry. I haven't gone bad yet. But they're on the edge of going bad. Yeah, there are a lot of calories in MREs, but I did my PFT this morning, my 20 pull ups, 100 crunches, ran three miles. A PT, as hard as a Marine does, you need to make sure you get your calories. You're not a big fan of coffee. 
but uh, these chocolate dessert sort of coffees like Starbucks knockoffs are actually pretty good. Well, I'm trouble trying to drink out of a bag. I think I like buffalo chicken because uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of back home cooking. At least it's that it discontinued this menu. There's not enough down home Cajun cooking. It used to be a jambalaya, but that was uh, it's pretty dry. It had a lot of rice in it. Kind of drown it in Tabasco just to get a little bit of consistency. It gets some lubrication, some, uh, some fluid in there. Otherwise, that stuff is hard going down. You can pour some water on it, cook it up in some water. I need a lot of help, but uh, that was another one I used to enjoy. <clears throat> yeah, if you always got downtime, there's no such thing as downtime in the Marine Corps, but you can always clean your weapon. So that MRE's cooking, and of course break something down and clean it. Now you get TP in, a, in an MRE, but this stuff's useless as TP. You expect me to wipe myself with this? This works better for cleaning weapons, but it does for cleaning my ass. Just a little bit of dirt on there. Now you go to turn these things in back in the armory. You're gonna open it up a little bit, shove their finger in there, try to get some gunk off. So a little tip I like, rather than just cleaning it with an AP brush, is to use these and get every little bit of grease and grime off. Because having disposable tissue is a lot more absorbent than trying to use those cleaning rags. Or your clothes, or an old shirt. Make this thing shine. I've seen some rings take their firing pin and use it for cleaning. It's a big no-no. Going to wear down your firing pin. Like, oh, as long as it shoots, it shoots. Well, just we need in the middle of a firefight is for your pin to get, to get worn down just enough that it stops shooting. Always take care of your weapon. Treat it like it's your own, or even better than if it's your own, if you treat your own stuff like shit.
think the last time I used this, shot some blanks. Got some nasty carbon on that. I'll have to clean that off later. One of the most useful things in MRE cleaner and especially if you're out in the field. Don't have a lot of water out there. You're packing whatever you got on you. Ever done cleaning your gun with all that nasty LSA or CLP carbon off your hands? Now you're good to go. That looks like some orange radioactive stuff right there. If only you had some bread, some white rice to toss this on. But the bread and MRE is terrible. Snack wheat bread, stale crap. Oh yeah, it's been a few years. That's some good stuff. G.I. Joe will return after these messages.